I know wherever she is, she can sleep in peace. A family breathing a sigh of relief tonight, decades after the murder of a loved one. It's a cold case tonight that is justice has served in the brutal killing of an 89 year old woman. For 28 years, her family, family desperately searched for answers and tonight they are finally getting them. On a Saturday in April 1994, 89-year-old Lillian DeCloy relaxed at her Pompano Beach home and awaited a visit later that day from a niece who helped care for her. That visit would never happen. Instead, violence and rage burst into her quiet, peaceful home that day, and a killer took her life. She was brutally beat and killed within her residence. And for the most part, there wasn't a single clue or witness or anyone that could account for a potential suspect. For 28 years, Lillian's family wondered who could possibly murder this harmless woman who spent her life as a teacher and nurse caring for others. This past August, Broward Sheriff's Office cold case homicide unit detectives gave them the answer they'd long sought for. Lillian's killer had been identified. By utilizing moder modern day technology, DNA, and being able to tie that back to a suspect who actually used to reside only a few blocks, a few homes away from the victim. DNA testing led detectives to a man named Johnny Mac Brown. Detectives learned that Brown once lived a few houses away from Lillian in the 1990s and was a Vietnam War veteran. His family said he struggled with PTSD and drug addiction. Brown had also been dead for more than a decade. The final breakthrough came this past August. We partnered with Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and we went up there and we got a court order signed by a judge to uh, exhume Mr. Brown's uh, remains. He was a vet. He was uh, buried up at the National Cemetery up in uh, Lake Worth. Uh, and we went up there and we exhumed his body and got the tissue samples we needed and we did the testing, came back, you know, 100% him. Investigators collected tissue samples from Brown's remains and testing by BSO's crime lab showed that Brown's DNA was consistent with the DNA left at the crime scene. After a nearly three decades long journey for justice, her family believes that she can finally rest in peace. Her murder is now considered solved.